Oh. All right. And then I, the I think you can see the the game. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I can. Then Full we can screen. continue. Uh, I only see Isco at the moment in the in the chat, so we're going to be oh, very yeah, communist soon. <laughs> oh no. There's James. Okay, um, so last time we ended with uh, the discussion of the trade routes with uh, or yep, Agnolia so or uh, Valen. Yes. And we are not sure yet, we did not make a decision yet, but we have to decide, I think, very soon. Now let's go over the news here. What do we have? Uh, wait, is this a new one? A sort of politician um, shot dead. A sort of poet. No, that's not new. The old. Yeah. Old. There's an old message from Bernard. Or is this new? Yeah, this is new. It's just not. It's not the first page. What? That's weird. They are afraid of hope, but our songs will be sung. Huge crowds of mourners, including President Rain and the other senior Sotis officials, joining for a rare display of unity. Poured into the heart of Deir today, where we had the funeral of Bernard. Uh, let's see. Uh, Norwalk at the City. A oh, somber atmosphere. Malenjevists. Anthems. Malenjevists. The communist theory. God. Okay. Oh no. And other leaned out towards out windows or over balcony railings to watch the procession. And we gave a unifying message to all of Swordland by attending the funeral. Yeah, I think we did the right thing there. Yeah, I think that was a really good choice. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, this message is not the first page. That's really weird. Uh, also on the Swordland today, the president stands together with the Red Youth. Do I? Oh well. Uh, yeah. The fact that Rain is giving support to a nomad of the Red Youth promoted millennialism throughout this life is unusual. Red Youth members. And. Never would Sol have thought that this, his party would be led by someone who sent together with a communist. But they are really exaggerating what happened. Yeah. I and, know. uh, yeah. But the Lackhaven Times here, uh, welfare issues of Narble, a city that was once an important trade stop for the Markian Empire. That's an old empire. From yep. 1113. That's how far this history goes of this game. It's incredible, actually. Uh, it's in a steep decline. We haven't covered the hard truth. Uh, did not wish to disclose his real name. Made a shocking remark about cities. And lack of healthcare services. Yeah, we don't even have water at some of our homes. Yeah, it's pretty bad. It's really bad. <laughs> this is pretty bad. But yeah. And the radical. So weird that it's not the first page. What? That's really weird. Uh, we need democracy. We have long demanded expansion of civil rights with reforms to modernize our nation. And the previous government blamed the Supreme Court for not allowing the reforms. The opposition was quick to point out the flaws in the Constitution. But we are working on that, I think. And uh, now the, the reformists have increased in number. We are supporting the reformists, so that's fine. And we have a president who is, see is seen as a symbol of change in office. We are waiting for results. Okay. And this is The Economist you're reading? Um, yes. I don't remember. Actually, no. Okay, I was I was doing something else. All right, and this is the last paper. We only have two entries in this paper, the Geopolitico, and it's about Jordan close closest consulate. Yeah, we also closed our consulate because uh, Rumberg uh, also closed theirs. So, and they are trying to uh, infiltrate our country with weapons and stuff. So it's uh, it's it's going yeah. to be interesting. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Trade reacted swiftly to the rumor of consolidated closure in Lackhaven by shutting down the sort of consulate in Dome. Wait, Dome is there. Oh yeah, that's over here, guys. That's, mm -hmm. That was taken away from Agnolia, I think. Yeah. Here, an Agnolian city annexed by Ruburg, so this was part of this nation. This clear uh, retaliatory diplomatic response will draw a lot of attention 
in a global democratic stage, but was welcomed by the Prime Minister Martin van Horten of Agnolia. Okay. We're gonna align ourselves with the Dutch people, it seems like. Yeah, I think we have to stand together against Rundborg at least. Now, we have a report in Arvory. Young Swords member claimed links to the government. A detained Young Sword, that is uh, the, uh, the youth wing of the Nationalists, claimed that he has connections to the government. We have been investigating the truth of his claims, but were not able to find any leads. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking. It, the whole going to the funeral seems good, but I'm wondering if it's going to upset the right-wingers. Well, obviously. <laughs> but, hey, but how but, badly? But, but, but we have to them. maybe uh, side with one of them, actually. I know. I still might get his wish in the end. Yeah, he, he wants me to play uh, ACDC. No, the people get copyright strikes. Yeah, we will, yeah. Well, we cannot do that. <laughs> um, so yeah. We can now go to our capital, Whole Sword. It actually has one, two, three, four, five highways and four train uh, roads out of this city. That's actually really big. Okay, we have a briefing on the results from the reform committee. Oh, and I have a Discord entry. Maybe that is eternal. Let's see. Uh, no, he cannot join. Ah, unfortunately. Yeah. So we are with two, but better than one. That is 50% less reading, so. <clears throat> yep. Okay, there we go. I came a little early to the meeting room before anybody showed up. We had scheduled a meeting to discuss the progress of the reform committee regarding the new constitution. I took a seat on the center chair in the vacant meeting room as I waited for them to show up. The reforms were slowly becoming the most significant expectation of my government. It would be changing Seoul's constitution of, of 1929. Most people nowadays blame the constitution for the outstanding problems of the country. On the other hand, the reformists in the assembly had been getting louder about their demands. And what I knew well, for sure was that I needed to do something about this enroaching chaos before it swallowed me. Meanwhile, Lucy and Peter and Nia had been leading the committee to prepare an initial draft for the constitutional amendment. I was intrigued to hear their results. There was a knock on the door. It was Lucian. Good afternoon, sir. Lucian arrived exactly on the hour mark again. He's always exactly on time. His punctuality could almost be described as obsessive. One, good afternoon. Or two, are you waiting behind the door to come at the exact second? <laughs> you should do two. Do two, I'm gonna see what he says. Should we do it? Mm hmm. Okay. I'm wrong with your advisors. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. He's confused. <laughs> and then one, forget it. How are you today? Or two, you seem to be arriving at the exact second for all the meetings. I'm gonna stop it now. <laughs> forget it. How are you? I'm good, Mr. President. Thanks for asking. That was my coffee. He took ah. a seat on the table and took out a bunch of documents, spreading them on the long table. We should begin the meeting soon, as Miss Morgana, Miss Mor Morgana, Miss Morgana, and Mr. Vice President arrives. We finally have some results from the Reform Committee. Uh, one, how does it look? Two, what results? Or three, good. I'm just going to do with one. Yeah. How does it look? Well, the situation is quite complicated, but I'm sure we'll make it work, just like we accomplished many things before. We'll go over the details regarding the new constitution in the meeting. A few minutes later, Peter and Nia also arrived. After a short chat, everybody sat down and took out their notes. I knew it was going to be a long meeting. Uh oh, a lot of reading. I'll. You may just be all three of them. Might as well, right? Yeah, maybe if that's the best thing. Alright. There's a lot... There's a lot to talk. There is a lot to talk... Going, that's not right. That's not how you write that. There's a lot to talk 
going about the future of this process. This Let us begin to tackle with this very wrong. The points of contention. As the Minister of Justice. You mean to do a girl voice? Oh, you can, but uh, you don't have to. <laughs> Mr. President, our committee meetings are really fruitful, and we already started working on the Constitution draft together with the reformists. Are you going to keep that minute. voice the whole time? <laughs> you want me to? I can. We may have no viewers, though, afterwards. <laughs> they demanded a little too much, but I've had success with friends Richter to create a realistic draft that could potentially go through the Supreme Court. He was a, a businessman, politician, leader of the People's yes. Freedom and Justice Party. The reformists. A little? They demanded to rewrite the whole Constitution. The requests were definitely not outrageous, just not realistic in today's circumstances. Just because it wouldn't pass the assembly, nonetheless, I'm glad that we are reaching common ground already. If we can reach an agreement with the reformers, we will be very strong in the assembly to propose the change. 1. Can we reach a two-thirds majority in the assembly, which we need? 2. Is it possible to pass the Supreme Court? Let's see if we can get a majority. Yeah. If you can get Friends Richter to work with you on this, our only problem would be uniting our own party. We'll never be able to get NFP to work with us. And that's the right-wingers, right? Yes. Yeah. Built for conservative. We need the majority of our 130 seats in the assembly to vote in favor with PFJP's full support of 70 votes. We will easily surpass the needed 166. Well, that sounds like a plan, right? I know. But it will be tough to unite the USP with all the divisive wings that have formed. That has formed. You must make them follow your loyalty. Yeah, yeah that's our I, don't, I don't think English is the first language of the person who made this game. No, I think it's German. Ah. But I'm not sure anymore. Okay, one, we did it before for the elections, we can do it again. Yes, we can. Or two, we will convince the leads. What does that mean? We mm. will convince the leads. I think the party heads? Maybe, oh, I'm not leaders. sure. Yes, maybe. One. We can do it again. Albin... Clay, yeah, Clavin. Albin Clavin and his reformist wing would be supporting you. He already weighed in heavily in the committee meetings. Okay, so he wants to uh, support this. Uh, member of the Grand National Assembly, and he is also part of our party. Leader of the progressive faction of the party. Yeah, he's progressive. He wants to reform the... That's, that makes sense, right? However, the conservatives would be tough to break. The influence of Sol is still living strong in the party. Ooh. One, we will eventually remove his influence. Or two, how many votes do they have? That's very interesting. Three, do you think they can be persuaded? Two, how many votes do they have? Yeah. I think, yeah, because you need to know. The conservatives have around 40 seats. There are many unaligned people, and some of your loyalists might decide to show their true faces, too. So we need as many of the conservatives to support us, and there's only one person who is key to make them back us. Gloria Tori. She's well respected by the soulless. She'll be our biggest obstacle in the assembly, and her demands will be extensive. Oh no. And she is. I don't know. She's she's just in your party. I think she's. No extra yeah, information. She, she's essentially like what's left over of the soul times. Essentially, at least that's what it seems like. A strong critic of Alfonso. <laughs> yeah. I also have reasons to think she might be in Orso's pocket. She's she will be tough to break, but we'll need her help to get the conservative support. Is it possible to pass the Supreme Court? They are the biggest obstacle. Even if we pass the assembly, the Chief Justice will do his best to block our amendments. Hmm. 
it sounds like the, sounds like the United States. We need at least six of the eleven judges to vote for the proposal, but Mr. Hawker has enormous influence over his judges, over Ooh. the judges. <clears throat> we should reach out to the judges in secret. Some of them might be willing to break to support us. Hmm. One, all means are to be considered in order to succeed. Two, they will surely support a just cause for the country and its future. I don't like to. I don't either, because it's kind of naive. Yeah, click. He was taken aback by the statement. According to the Constitution, I am a member of the Supreme Court, which means we already have one vote. You are? Oh. Wait. Oh, okay. Okay. Two of the judges are friends of mine and of similar opinion about the reforms. Consider them with me. There is three. So we only have three votes out of 11? <laughs> or two? Who else would be willing to support reform? That's the better question. <laughs> three. I'm sure the rest can be bribed. No. Are we, did we take... No, we didn't take the bribe no, last game. We are game, not going right? to be bribing anyone. So. Yeah, no bribing. Who else would be willing to support the reforms? I think Judge Edmonds can be persuaded, and in extension, Mr. Dalton and Mr. Merton. Now we have six. We need one more, right? Yes. They weren't really blinded by the soulless ideology. Yes, those three don't seem to be working directly with the Chief Justice Hawker. If we can get to Isabel Edmonds, we might get the six votes needed. That's our best bet. And she is the youngest person. That's that's always a good thing because they are more open to change, I, in my opinion. And uh, a firm believer in democracy and secularism. Hmm. You know okay. to hold anti-communist and socially conservative views. Hmm. Interesting. One, what are the demands? Or two, let's go through the draft. We can... Hmm. What does Twitch chat say? I think we just go through the draft and see what, what's there. Yeah. Let's go to the draft details. Of course. We'll go through each of the main demands of the committee and get your input. Miss Miss Morgana can explain them further. That's Nia. We'll start with the first red line. The new constitution will fix the loopholes regarding the president's absolute veto powers. Even though Mr. Richter put on a whole show about why vetoes should completely be removed, the committee has almost unanimously agreed on fixing the loopholes, thus limiting the presidential vetoes. My suggestion is to add a clause detailing the methods of the assembly detailing the methods the assembly may override a veto with some sort of super majority. One person should never be able to block the rest. One, I stand in agreement with Mr. Richter. The veto should be removed. Two, the loopholes give the president too much power. Or three, they will not be allowed to dictate the negotiations. Hmm. What does three mean? I don't know. They will not be allowed to dictate the negotiations. Who? Who is they? I don't know. The assembly. The assembly, I guess. Well, one is what we want, right? We don't want any vetoes, right? I mean, of course, it's, I only have my veto, but if I can give that up to get a majority, that's, that's no problem. Yeah. But then if they try to pass something that you don't like, hmm, that's it. You can't stop it. True, but that's democracy. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. That is true. Um, Two, the loopholes give president too much power. Just say that. That'll maybe... Loopholes give president too much power, which could be misused. Whatever you decide, it's important to get a balanced picture. We will be making history by changing the 29 Constitution of Seoul. The second one is about the judiciary. The new Constitution will move the Supreme Court's right to vote on legislation. 
Interesting. This is yet another point that was unanimously agreed on by all parties. Tarquin Sol established this rule to protect his, his 29 constitution. We all know most of the judges are still his pawns. Constitutional amendments will still be very difficult to accomplish with a reform like this, particularly because we will keep the two-thirds vote system to be able to propose a change. However, the judiciary will not have the final say in the amendments. Well, this is already what we wanted to do. Two, I can't disagree with that. Three, we need the court to even pass this change. Why would they support this? Or, and what uh, good does that to us? Three is kind of true, because you're taking away power from the courts. So why would you vote to give yourself less power? Let's see what this, what, what they will say about this. Need the court to even pass the change. Why on earth would they support this? Most of them won't, but we already talked about my vote and a possible agreement with Isabel, which may change things. Yeah, that's true. Apart from these two critical points, they have other, they have other major demands. They want to perform the appointment procedures of the ministers. Mr. Richter clarified that the assembly should have a say in the formation of the council of ministers. Hmm. That is something that a majority of our that is something that a majority in our party also supports. Well, Mr. Richter also talked about abolishing the member of honor rights of Tarquin Soul that gives him absolute immunity and makes him a permanent member of the assembly. Hmm. Oh god. Yeah. Well, that one is a controversial one. I doubt that USP would like that. Immunity of the justices, the impeachment of the president, limiting the power of the presidential decrees, all of this came up during the committee meetings. Yes, reformers expect big reforms while our, while our faction, the USP, are not very keen on pushing changes that are too great. I'd say keeping everything in the middle ground is the safest bet. No need to agitate anyone too much. One, I disagree. We'll push for comprehensive reforms. Two, I agree. Let's keep the changes small and manageable. Three, I have valid concerns that we need to look at. This is a good, interesting decision. Hmm. Well, we just say we need to look at it, right? With three, so. Yeah, that's a good, it's pretty neutral. I'll keep working with them and keep you updated, Mr. President. Well, regardless of what Mr. Rain decides, we will need to work together to push this agenda. Now we have a better picture of your intentions, sir. I will start reaching out to my contacts to make a draft that works for us. I'll present your input to the committee. In a few months, you would have the draft on your desk to make the final changes yourself. I think this was yet another fruitful meeting, sir. Oh, and hello, Smithios. Welcome back to the stream. And uh, one, your service hello. is appreciated. Hello. Two, if we do this, we will be remembered as heroes. Three, together we will democrat democratize Swordland. Four, thanks for the meeting, everybody. I don't know. Three seems like what you're trying to do. And you have my full support, Mr. President. Ours too, of course. Yes, sir. Thank you for your time. I think this is where we'll call it, sir. Have a good day. They left the room. And there we are. That was the first dialogue. <laughs> yeah. That was a lot. Yeah. It's, uh, and we are still in... Um... You're still in turn two of chapter one. Still turn two. Oh, we have some uh, reports again. Oh, what about Roomborg? Roomborg condemns the closure. The queen of Roomborg, <laughs> Beatrice Livingston, has released a statement this morning to, publici to publicly condemn the, cl the closure of Swordland's consulate in Doe. Thornborg, Thornborg, yeah has also accused Sordon of increasing tensions in the region. 
Hmm. But we are not doing anything. Yeah. And we have something in the highway. I mean, that just they closed their embassy first, so... The, uh, the Highway 3 project. Uh, Underhaul construction, you know, that guy that uh, tried to yes. bribe us. It's reported that preparatory work for the H3 highway has already started, including clearing the land and demolishing buildings in the path of the future roadway. Construction of the highway will be starting in the next months, working west from Lackhaven. And we have something over here in Valksland. Valksland Urgus urges calm. Chancellor Hegel has released a statement through official channels using urging calm on the rumberg sortland dispute. The General Secretary has also mentioned that the climbing tensions should immediately be de-escalated to protect peace and prosperity of eastern Mercopia. And then mm -hmm. we go back to our capital again. We have a meeting with Chief Justice Orso Hawker. Oh, it's the man who doesn't like us. The administration had been working day and night on the overwhelming amount of issues that were facing the country. Oh, hello, South Jutlander. Uh, the department sent several documents which required my signature so they could start working on the new decisions that were taken. After I signed a dozen of them, I closed my eyes to relax for a moment. Another long day. Even though I, re I really wished to leave the palace for, a day, for the day, Lucian had earlier told me that the Chief Justice wanted to speak me. He planned to meet in my office in 30 minutes. I waited for him, wondering what subject he would raise. Whiskey, Whiskey? or not? <laughs> Whiskey or not? This is, a very this is a very important decision, chat. You need to decide. I mean, what if we drink whiskey and he and he smells it? I mean, he probably drinks whiskey too. Yeah, he looks like one of those. I'm gonna pour yeah. whiskey. Took a sip. It eased my mind a little. Suddenly, oh, I heard God. a knock on the door. That's Lucian. Good evening, sir. Uh, good evening, Lucian. I'm sorry that I couldn't explain the situation to you in detail earlier, sir. The Chief Justice insisted on seeing you this evening. I do not know what he has to say, but it will probably be about the new constitution. He will be coming shortly to, with Judge Mr. Garachi to the meeting. We shouldn't take them lightly. He's also one of the followers of him, right? Yes. But we don't need those two. If we, if we follow our plan. Uh, I think he's here to test the waters. That's what I think, too. They are here to threaten us to stop the reforms. I don't know. Three, we may be able to cooperate with them. Or four, regardless of what they say, I will continue with the new constitution. Hmm. Well, four is what, what I'm going to do. Yeah, I think four. I'm just going to go for it. Of course. Let's stand our ground and not let them antagonize us, sir. We should... There were three knocks at the door. Lucian checked his watch. He looked rather worried. If he opened the doors, if Justice Orso Hawker and Judge Heron Garassi, the two old guys, they like soul, entered yes. the room. Good evening, Mr. President. It's great to see you. Evening. Welcome, Justice Garachi, Chief Justice Hawker. Good to see you, gentlemen. I'm going to say their full thing. Good to see you, indeed. Also gestured at the sofa in the office. May I? Please. We all took our seats and two opposite sofas on two opposite and made ourselves comfortable. Also glanced at the glass of whiskey. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> Celebrating something, Mr. President? One, forgive me, would you also like to have a drink? Two, I was just trying to relax. No, we're not going to say that. Three, I don't <laughs> think that's relevant to our meeting, Mr. Hawker. Or four, can we get to the point? 
one, don't escalate it too, too early, I think. One is uh, the best polite thing to do, right? Mm -hmm. I don't think he likes it, but we will see. No, thank you. Me neither, thank you. I like to stay as conscious and focused as I can. How were your first couple of months, Mr. President? I hope you're faring well. Thank you, it's very busy, but I'm doing good. No, you're not doing good. Two, to be honest, <laughs> it was a rough start. Three, I'm doing extremely good. No need to worry. Four, no need for pleasantries. I'm just gonna be honest, I think. Because everyone knows, right? Yeah, I think it was a rough that. start. I couldn't imagine. Yet, I think you're doing a good job so far. Considering all that's happening around us with the shootings near the palace and the soldiers on our borders. I let out a deep sigh. <sighs> it is a troubling time. We appreciate your concerns. So, you probably know why we are here. One, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Two, please enlighten us, Mr. Hawker. Three, you're here to bribe me. No, <laughs> no. no. Then, the whole, then the whole conversation is over. Four, you're here to stop the new constitution. I'm going to let them talk. Please enlighten us. We know you are working on a new constitution. The Supreme Court does not approve of this. Yep, there we go. <laughs> there it is. With all due respect, the Constitution needs to be updated, sir. I am sure you will. You are well aware of the public demand and our circumstances. Is that so? I see that you are the one who is not aware of our actual circumstances. You want to make a weaker Constitution in the midst of problems from both inside and outside. Even if your proposal passes the Assembly, I will make sure it will not pass the Supreme Court. That much is clear. What a nice, what a nice talk, right? Yep, yep. One, you haven't even seen the proposal yet, Mr. Harper. Isn't it too soon to be against it? Two, so you came here to threaten <laughs> us. Three, come on, Mr. Harker, we can figure something out. Four, we'll get the court too. Even if you do not cooperate. We're not going to say that because then he knows that we no. are trying something behind his back. We are just going to be doing one. You haven't seen the proposals yet. Isn't it too soon to be against it? Do you think I live under a rock, Mr. President? <laughs> I know what goes on. Yet you, Mr. President, seem to be only partially informed about the current situation. Please, let us explain the reasons of our stance. I believe I'm fully informed about the situation, the Garachi. You, oh, please explain. Three, let's hear it. Or I don't care about your reasons. You're gonna listen. Let's hear Just it. We are protecting the Constitution because it works, Mr. President. It is efficient and gives you the authority to lead the nation with swift decisions. Swordland has more important problems and threats that we should face right now instead of nitpicking some paragraphs of the Constitution. We have a potential war within our borders. Also signaled Heron with his hand to let him speak instead. Mr. President, I know that you are a busy man, so I'll make this quick. We all know that Sword of Security Forces found stashes of Rimbergian weaponry in the hideouts of Blender Separatists. K-74s are roaming inside Sortland at this moment. As much as Rimberg poses a direct threat, now it's clear that they are also intervening in our country and weaponizing our minorities against us. It's not unprecedented to think that the Bloods will start their terror again with their new toys. Not to mention, the fights that broke out between the left and right wing after the shooting Circus communists are rising within rising with the support of United Cantana. The chaos is imminent for Swordland. And sadly, we don't see the administration taking the necessary precautions. You will said you will not focus on military during your term. Under current circumstances, that cannot be tolerated at any cost. One, Mr. Hawker, the court has no juris jurisdiction over these matters. Two. 
We are taking the necessary steps, no need to worry. Wait, I did promise that, but the circumstances have changed. Well, that's true. Or tolerate, you should be more careful with your words of choice. Maybe we can uh, say that times have changed, because that is always the best argument in, in everywhere, in every discussion. Times have changed. Times have changed. And maybe we can open up a, a new paragraph in this speech. Maybe they are open for uh, some amendments or something. Let's see. Let's promise that, but the circumstances have changed. I am relieved to hear that. But regardless of that, but regardless of that, are you also aware that the armed bloodish separatists have direct connections with the Workers' Party of Bludia? Well, that makes sense, right? Yeah, it does. One, everybody knows that. Two, they claim otherwise. Three, Workers' Party is a democratic party unlike the militias. They are not the same. Or, I mean, they are all blood. Mm-hmm. Connections, yeah, but their connections is... I don't know, are we trying to become more communist, or are we trying to steer away No, we away just from stay uh, uh, centered, centered, okay. um, a bit progressive, with a plan economy, apparently. Um, yeah, so, but uh, the Workers' Party is a democratic party, or like the militias, they are not the same. I think I'm going to answer with that one. They may claim that they have no ties with the Separatists, but most of their members used to be part of them before they formed the Workers' Party of Bludia. How about the name, Mr. President? Is it not the Workers' Party of Sortland? Is it? As far as I'm aware, there's no nation called Bludia around here. What is this all about? The only reason they are not in the Assembly is because of the electoral threshold they have gone quite big they are clearly getting outside help and their connections to the parliament paramilitary bluish force cannot be denied all of a sudden the reformists are trying to decrease the electoral threshold so that the bluish separatists can be legitimized in the assembly to achieve their aims of independence one you think that's mr richter's intention two i will not allow it to happen three that's too dramatic. Um, two is not not a good answer, because um, if we are going to reform, then we cannot stop it anymore if the majority votes. Yeah. Um, maybe we should just say that it is too dramatic, actually. Just play him off like he's paranoid. Say what you will, Mr. President, I am stating the obvious. But I wish the only issues were the Bluetooth terrorists and Rumberg. Reformists suggest, suggested changes would also bring the communists who are backed by United Cortana into the assembly. Do you see the pattern yet? Well, I apologize, gentlemen, but I am not a conspiracy theorist. Two, you're saying the reformists are working for the foreign powers? There is no evidence about any of this. Or, and what is your suggestion? If we do mm. four, then we acknowledge this statement. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it is possible, but we don't know that for sure. It, it might be there, but they are there. But I can also say that the reformers are working for the foreign powers. That's what you're stating. That's what they are saying, right? They're basically saying that they're, yes, that they're receiving outside support from foreign powers. Oh, let's see. That they're being armed. Haven't you been briefed by your security team? Maybe you should suspect them as well. Oh, no. What? We should take the necessary measures against communist blundish plots as well as increasing our military budget against a possible conflict with Rumberg. Of course, 
not fall into the traps into the traps of the reformists by listening to their demands. They are clearly plotting to weaken the president and her whole administration or to exploit the situation. I think that's exaggerated. Yes, uh, which brings us to some very important information that we have. It's definitely something you need to hear, and it, and it can change absolutely everything. With all due respect, Mr. President, I think this is getting slightly ridiculous. 